The current was being created and I had an opportunity to host. I wasn't even sure that I could work in a studio versus in the field. And what I discovered was that I could continue to do the journalism I care about here. When you're listening to radio, you can be doing something else. So you, you can actually free up part of your mind to be thinking of the ideas about that conversation. So sometimes it can actually spur you to start thinking in another way about that. Whereas when you're watching something, you are much more focused on, like it, it demands that you stay completely focused on that. People who have been through great trauma who are willing to talk about it. Um, and I think that when someone like that is in the room with me or on the line with me or in another studio, I have to give them space to talk. In the end, I, I think those are some of the most important interviews, the ones where people are willing to share their own feelings and what they've been through. And they give us tremendous insights into their own strengths and wider strengths that we have as people. I like the fact that we look at the human condition, the political condition, the, the things that affect how we live. And I think it's really important to think about things and to try to think about them differently. Because we all have opinions, but if all we ever do is just talk to people who think like we do, then we don't, we don't force ourselves to think wider and bigger and maybe in a different way. And I like to say that if you listen to The Current and you think about something differently, or you say, I never thought about that at all before, but I'm interested, then we're doing our job.